five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. I think we're up to episode 13 on this thing. Um, got a bit to do today. So in the last video we managed to get it out the front and uh, get some side perspective. If you haven't seen that, go back one and you'll see that video. Um, it was good to do because it made me aware of a few things that I need to change. Just to be able to stand back and have a look and have a good think about how things are working. And I'll show you a couple of things that we need to redesign. We'll just change, not redesign. So by redesign, I mean put back to more standard um, with my wishbones mounted to the chassis on the side here it gets in the way of my steering so side steer ball is on this side and it's got to jump over and get onto that side I've seen guys use bent drag links but I don't want to do a bent one and the way to fix that is by mounting that underneath so what I'm going to do is modify the cross member to handle the stresses of the front end and mount those to the new cross member and that'll give me that'll put that in behind there and then give me a straight line of access for my steering and the other thing that I knew was a problem but really stood out to me when I was out the front is a lack of clearance that I have for my rear wishbones to the chassis there isn't any like I can just fit my fingers in there so it's not going to allow me to have any um, suspension travel whatsoever so I went through some other parts that I've had kicking around and I found some um, wishbones that mount still on the Model A diff but mount underneath and that's one there so when that's up I'll try and do this when that's up to where it needs to be I've got tons of clearance so we're going to swap those out and all I've got to do is make a new mount on the torque tube up here where they bolt on so that's going to be fairly easy to do and by addressing those couple of things, it brings it to still kind of factory geometry, actually even better than what I've got here, and solves my clearance issues. So what I've got to do now is try and get it back down to the shed down the hill. Um, I've got no brakes yet. That's another thing we've got to work on. So we'll get it down back into the shed. We'll rip the tub back off. We'll pull the cab back out of the way, and we'll start to address these issues today. Radiator, that could have been pretty bad. Forgot all about them. They were just sitting on there, obviously. Um, good thing I was coming down to check every now and then. They could have just folded and I could have run over that thing. So anyway, good save. I used to use my little scat for that kind of stuff because that's pretty steep. But since you've been gone, got to adapt. That worked. So I'm going to leave the cab on for now because I'm not going to have enough room moving it back. Um, I really need to lift the cab off, but leave it on for now so what I'm thinking of doing is we've got these pieces cut from something else I had laying around and putting that there welding it to the original cross member and then bolting it to the chassis over there and that'll give me torsional strength because at the moment we've only just got up and down strength and with the front end connected to this cross member we need it to not twist so that's going to give us that strength there
and as simple as that we've got our uh, torsional strength in our cross member one job sorted so now we'll uh, remove these rear wishbones and hopefully we can get these nuts off without having to um, take the wheel off because that can be a bit of a pain we'll see how we go no. seams open on this side this is a lot heavier fully seam welded so unless it's off of like a later model a they change them but it certainly fits the diff and I know the later ones had the spring perch on the back so I'm a little bit confused but they're gonna work if you know what they are let me know they're shorter but they bolt up hate me. I need to measure some things. Righto, so they're on and there's tons of room as you can see now. Um, I'm not going to weld on the tab yet for the front or the, the mount because it's going to be easier once the thing's blown apart and it doesn't really make a difference in this assembly stage right now. So I'll leave that. So that job's done for now. Um, what I want to do now and the reason I put these on, I just want to measure up with the tub on, see if I can uh, make this thing look any good with fenders. Um, I'm going to give it one, I'm sort of swayed to no fenders, but I just want to give it a look. So we'll chuck the tub on, we'll rest the fenders on and see if they work. Um, the other wheels over there are just too wide, so we'll just, uh, we'll just see what happens. There's a lot telling me don't do it, but anyway, we've just got to try. be done yeah it can be done do I think it's worth the work and the effort I'm not so sure um, if I was going for something that was stock looking probably wouldn't matter too much but I'm not gonna get look how much clearance there is under there I'm gonna have to recess that down so far and then these are longer so the guard's going to have to stop around here. Guard's going to have to get cut off here, running board. Um, I don't know. Maybe a thought I can put aside for another day. I do like that look though. So the next job is uh, getting some mounts together for these to mount them on the inside so they come up underneath like I explained earlier. Um, I do have pair of these guys which would normally mount at the bottom of the chassis um, they're the right taper and I'm thinking about cutting them up and mounting them in there like that that's gonna work perfectly let's mark them out and get the grinder onto that
There you go, all done. Well, partially done. Once this all comes back out, I'll weld it up, I'll gusset it, finish it off. But now we have split wishbones that run on the inside. Gives us clearance for our steering. And um, it's going to work a lot better, actually, because that's kind of how they're designed to work in a triangle. So, happy days. Got a fair bit done on this one. I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Um, nothing was too hard. But anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed that one. Next episode, we'll probably get into finishing the steering off. I'll show you how to make a custom drag link out of stock parts. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm going to go and have something to eat. I'm starving. I haven't had anything to drink today either. So, um, anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.